Hi guys, I'm Basha. I'm one of the keepers here in Rocky Mountain Wild. I'm here with Rebecca and also our super awesome moose, Tahoma. And we're gonna give you guys a little bit of an update on how our old guy is doing. Tahoma is our 12 year old Canada moose here at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo and he is an older gentleman. He happens to be the oldest Canada moose in human care in the United States and because of that he looks like he is in great shape um, but we are monitoring some age related issues with him. One of the things we have been monitoring with Tahoma is a cough that seems to come and go. Uh, so part of that is we train him in voluntary x-rays. You can see his antlers have a hard time fitting through this time of the year, but he is trained to put his chin on a chin rest so that we can get x-rays of his teeth and his jaw. And then for uh, x-rays of his throat, um, we have a setup inside that allows for him to move around a little bit better and we can get better images of those chest areas. Tahoma also participates in voluntary hoof care. This right here is his hoof block which allows for him to get his hoof into a position that makes it easier for us to take a really good look at it. Uh, so we do voluntary hoof care with him in order to make sure that he doesn't have any cracks in his hooves, no rocks stuck in the bottom of them, and make sure that they're looking good and healthy because hooves are a really important part of our moose's health. So here at the zoo, Tahoma gets a special diet that includes a special Cheyenne Mountain Zoo moose blend that helps Tahoma get all of the nutrients that he might be getting out in the wild. Um, and apart from that blend of grain, he also knows the importance of eating his leafy greens like romaine, um, his vegetables like this yam here, and then his absolute favorite, which is banana. Tahoma also enjoys browse, which is different uh, parts of a tree <laughs> that we give to him. Lots of different trees like aspen and willow. Um, and he, this is something that he would be eating a bulk of his diet in the wild. Every once in a while, Tahoma has a little bit of stiffness standing up. So because of that, he is on a few pain meds that help him to be able to deal with some of that stiffness and feel nice and spry and young again. He also uh, will every once in a while receive some antibiotics um, on an as needed basis in case anything pops up that we need to treat. This year again Tahoma has an impressive set of antlers and every year they do shed their antlers. So Tahoma tends to shed his antlers around Christmas time, so around December 25th. And he's got this pair that is about done growing for the year. Uh, you can see the nice white bone and Rebecca has some of last year's pair. So last year his pair weighed about 27.8 pounds, so pretty big. So Tahoma's antlers growth is directly related to the amount of testosterone production. So in the peak of his life, he had very huge, beautiful antlers and they're starting to shrink a little bit as he gets older, but not too much. Uh, so you guys can actually engage with us on social media by taking a guess this year at how much Tahoma's antlers weigh. If you guess correctly, you could win an opportunity to meet this beautiful moose. Thank you guys so much for checking in on Tahoma. Make sure you keep an eye on Facebook for that antler contest.